Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our MiG-19P and we're looking at rockets and bombs. Uh, so we're in the early access at the moment, it's just been released. We're in March, mid-March 2019 now. You can fire the rockets, you can drop the bombs, they will go bang, but we can't do any type of aiming. And so I'm going to basically show you what works and what doesn't work, what it says in the manual. And obviously it's just, you know, it's because it's early access, it will get fixed and implemented. But I want to know you, show you how it is now. So first of all, let's look at the weapons we can arm up in terms of bombs and rockets. In terms of rockets, we can use pylons 5, 4, uh, 3 and 2. We can equip these, the ORO 57K, the high explosive rockets of 57mm diameter. They are the, uh, sorry, that is the rack there, the ORO. The rocket name is the S5 Mike and there's eight of them per pod. So I'm just going to put them on the inner pylons only. And on pylons 2 and 5 only, we can have bombs. So we're going to get bombs. We can have the fab. These are all unguided high explosive bombs. We've got the 100 kilo, 250 kilo, or 50 kilo. We have to have a symmetrical loadout. So we're going to go for the 100 kilos, because why not? And we're going to arm up with that. Request rearming. So we'll start with the rockets first while it's arming up. And we're just going to follow what the manual says. Off you go, star. Lights on so we can see what we're doing. We're going to turn our sight heater, this here is the gun sight, this is what aims our bombs and our rockets, our sight heater on, and our sight power on, and our rocket power on, I believe it's that one there, let me just check, 57k, yep, and that is everything we all, uh, need on to, to do this, I just shall, do not hit my aeroplane, okay, that's that. So if we're going to set up rockets first, we've got our master panel here, left click to left, right click to right, we're going to start with the rocket pods there. Rocket pods in this aircraft have been designed to be used against air to ground and air to air targets. We can aim them optically or by radar. Can you explain the difference by that, Stahl, in practical terms? Well, in practical terms, really, it just comes down to the range finding. You know, the internal little computer and gyro system um, can give you bullet drop over a certain range. Usually you would uh, have to input a range in advance or you range it by giving it a wingspan and then making the circle the correct size. Uh, the radar does it automatically. Roger. Right, so we're going to do optical uh, because it's daytime and we don't want to use our radar and we're going to be shooting against ground targets. The next thing is we've got our rocket ordnance panel here and we can see that we've got the rockets armed and ready to fire because we've got the green light and per pod we've got eight rockets loaded because we've got eight yellow lights uh, showing at the moment. We've also got a brightness for this, but it doesn't appear to do anything. So that's that. Now to aim the rockets, the idea of what we do is we first select a range that we're going to be firing the rockets at, and that's going to be displayed in this range meter here, times 1,000 meters. So currently at 1,000 meters, and as per the manual, it says start firing at well 1,500 meters. So what we're going to do is just show the key that we need to do that. To change that, we can go optical target range increase and decrease. And out of interest to fire all of these weapons, trigger. So we're going to do the range. principle, it, it, if, if you want to do it with the mouse, although it would be kind of awkward, it's the twist grip on the throttle. You could do oh, that as well. Oh, you could do that. Just no, you'd, yeah. you'd struggle with that, wouldn't you? Uh, so Probably. I'm going to change it now. And you can see that it is changing the size of this circle. And we'll explain why that is in a second. So we've put it to 1500. And what we want to do is get the frame, the, ho the hostile that we're shooting at, let's just um, make things easy, we're going to shoot this guy here, an AAV-7. Well, we've looked at the length on Wikipedia of an AAV-7 and it is 8.1 meters. So the next thing we want to do is set up the wingspan of the target. This is how we fire the rockets at a ground or an air target. So we're going to go to the wingspan knob here and we're going to change that to 8. And that should change the reticle size accordingly to that wingspan. Now, what you'll notice is, in fact, if we change it at any size, it doesn't change the reticle. That's because at the time of this model, it simply hasn't been programmed yet. But I'm just showing you how it's going to work when it's fixed. You, what you would do is set that to 8 there. We've set our firing distance here at 1500 meters. Well, the, in the manual it says use rockets, start firing rockets between 1500 and 2000 meters. I think that's absolutely ridiculous when I fire them that far away. Well, you'd agree, these aren't even big rockets. So let's make a better assumption. Let's move down to 1000 meters. Okay, so I've changed it down to 1000 meters now. That's, I mean, it's still quite far away to be honest, but that's more realistic. And the manual says the minimum we want to be firing at and breaking away at is 600 meters, okay? Dive angle, this is nothing to do with rockets, ignore that. So with that set up, what we could do now is fly towards the target 
and once the target, that AAV7, what it was called, is framed perfectly in lengthwise by this reticle here, with this dot on the target, that's when we fire. And it calculates everything for you. Uh, oh, sorry, and we have to have our gyro uncaged at that point. But remember, when you uncage your gyro, you only do it on your final run-in. You don't do it when you're turning. If you do that, you will break your gyro, and that is bottled. We've tested that. You will break your gyro. It just won't work anymore. So I'll turn in with I'll go find the bad guy. I'll turn in. When I'm on my final straight run, I'm going to go uncage. I'm going to head in wings level towards the target. I'm going to place my dot on the target. When his link is framed by this circle here, I will press the trigger button and fire a rocket well. And that's determined uh, by this selection here. Or do I want to fire? Add a press of a button. One rocket per pylon four rockets per pylon or ripple where it continuously fires rockets as long as we have hold the button down because the wingspan here isn't functioning correctly at the moment you can't aim rockets so as march 2019 in the mig-19 you can't aim rockets are we agreed on that start oh uh, not properly at least yeah can't range them yeah we can't you there's nothing we can do and what you would usually do in a manual gun sighted aircraft would then be to use a depression angle but we don't have any data available and that doesn't work anyway so what we can do is go and fire our rockets, but it has to be all aimed by eye at the moment. So I've got no useful information to tell you how to aim it. It just doesn't work at the moment. We'll go and fire some off for fun in a minute, but that's just one thing to bear in mind. Next, we're going to go to the guns. Uh, sorry, the bombs. So we're going to select our bombs, and that's all we've had to do that. We've got optical and radar. We're going to be optical again. Optical again. We're going to be using our eyes to range this thing. We can have it on manual or auto. If, as the manual says, manual is supposed to drop one bomb per press, auto is supposed to drop two bombs per press. At March 2019, this switch is the wrong way around. Uh, so manual is actually auto and vice versa. Be wary of that. On to the aiming. The aiming is very similar. So what we would do is we would set our range up of when we would like to drop our bomb. Um, do we have ranging information in the manual, please, Charles? Uh, yeah, it's a 1500 meters to 2000 as well. Wow. Again, very ambitious, trying to drop two kilometers away, but we're just going to follow the manual how it is at the moment. So we're going to go to 1,500 meters for that. That's our ranging done. Next. Well, don't forget, altitude-wise, it's significantly less. Yeah, that's a slant range, isn't it, that we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to have to figure out your own uh, altitude, and we'll talk about that in a minute. This is slant range. This is us to the target. Next, as per the manual, you're supposed to set the target wingspan up again. Again, if we're attacking an AAV-7, then we want to set it down to 8 meters. It's supposed to uh, adjust this gun thing size, and as you can see, it doesn't adjust it. So, currently not working. Uh, and then you're supposed to set your dive angle. It says in the manual that this uh, works here between... Uh, uh, this should be able to span between 20 and 50 degrees dive angle. As you can see, that's not true. It's currently... 0 to 12 something. We don't know what that is. Maybe that's 0 to 120 degrees. Well, you wouldn't dive at 120 degrees, so we're not sure what these numbers mean at the moment. So something's going to change. Either the manual's going to change or this knob is going to change. Now, what this is supposed to do when you change the angle is this is supposed to depress the pipper, we believe. Currently doesn't do that. We're pretty sure this just doesn't work. The manual says to dive between 30 and 50 degrees for your actual dive. So if we were going to dive at 30 degrees, which we uh, do by our ADI here, and sorry, to go back at the rockets, I forgot to talk about the dive angle. For the rockets, you're expected to dive between 20 and 60 degrees, as measured by your ADI here. With the bombs, you are, as per the manual, supposed to dive at 30 to 50 degrees, as measured by the ADI here. And you are supposed to calibrate this angle with what you're going to dive at. So that's what we say we wanted to dive at 30 degrees. We would set this presumably at 3. We're guessing that means 30 degrees. And then we will go and do our dive at 30 degrees. Then the computing system or the site knows what angle we're diving at and it knows how to change this uh, accordingly. Again, once we're only once we're on a final bomb run, wings level, heading in at 30 degrees, will we change that to cage? You might want to set that to a HOTAS key. Okay? Not that it matters at the moment because it just doesn't work. As you can see, the ranging works, but the target wingspan doesn't work and we're pretty sure the angle depression doesn't work. Okay? Well, one thing, by the way, once it does work regarding target wingspan, uh, the manual says no less than 7 meters. I'm not sure why the scale goes all the way, goes all the way down to 0. Uh, 7, I think, is a universal thing. Yeah, so that's... Um, so if you have anything that has less, then you'll have to kind of eyeball it. Like, for example, set twice the range and then shoot when it's half the size of your retic. Yeah, so we've shown why the gun sight for the bombs and the rockets don't work. Now we're going to go and show what you can do, which is not very much, but we can still... It's eyeball it. That's where we're at, Stahl. You just have to eyeball them, right? 
There's nothing else we can Pretty do. Much, uh, right, but let's take uh, off. Tw tw twice the wingspan, but are we not twice the range? Obviously, that would work. So if it was a five meter target, a little car or something, you'd set it to ten and then use half the size of your paper for aiming. That's what you're saying, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I accidentally said range. That would not work. Good job. Right, release in three, two, one, gate. Beautiful burners. You must be heavier than me. I do have two fifties on, I think you only have one hundred, sorry. Roger. Gear up and flaps up. Right, I'm going to roll straight on the target. There's nothing really we can do for the aiming, so I've got my rocket selected, I've got singles. Let's go, go, go. So all we can do is uh, eyeball it, aim above the target, and um, do any necessary lead calculations by eye. Oh, nearly got him as well. Let's see if we can get one, Charles. Let's just get one today, right? Uh, that's our mission. I uh, wish I could line it up because I can't turn my head far enough. And I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to go downwind either. I'm going to go hit them from the side. In fact, I am going to cheat. I am going to go downwind because I am super cap. Right, um, I'm going to go to um, auto this time, which is ripple, if that switch is programmed the right way around. And I'm going to do a lovely big auto ripple. I'm going to come in at a designated 30 degrees as per the manual. No, 20 degrees, sorry. And by the way, we're not moaning about these things not working. They are it's standard. Whenever something early release comes out, nothing ever works. We just want to make you aware so you don't sit there getting frustrated for three hours. I waited. Use the ADI. Let's get down to 20. Okay. 20 degrees. Add any necessary lead. Turn to fire and cap is super cap. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yay! Got one. Wow, these S8s, S5s really dip, man. And I mean dip. No, yeah, they're not very good. Ah, oh, no shack. No shack. Yes, shack. Yes, shack. Next is bombs. So we're going to go to bomb. Now, if we're going to use our bombs, we need to turn the master arm on. And that is behind the stick. And it's here. We want to have that up into the up position. Other than that, there's nothing really to do. I can't set the gun sight up, uh, so we're just going to go in and have a bit of a guess. If you are working blind like this, then the best thing I find is to go at a really steep angle. Well, be really careful though when you're doing that. Damn you right. Know, the steeper you're coming in, the more likely it's going to crash. Yep. Like I do every time. Well, you killed something, Shal. You did it all on your own as well. Yeah, killed two of them. Okay, Supercap's coming in. I can see you stalling there. Looking good. <laughs> Right, let's see how steep we can get this monkey. I'm going to go in the second lot because they're my lot. Oh, I should say, I've got it set to manual, and because that's the wrong way around, that means auto. Cap is 30 degrees, not steep enough. Okay, I'm going to go about, probably about 40, and I'm going to aim right above these monkeys. Oh, don't play bitches now, don't play silly buggers now. And cap is drop, and pull, and pivot, and twist. Oh, I missed. I added too much lead to the bloody thing. That's unlike me. Well, that's my bombs. Let me check they're both off. They are. So the only other thing to show off now is a jettison. If we want to jettison our bombs, and it can be with armed or not armed, we would go here and click thus. If we wanted to jettison our rocket pods, we would click thus. And you've got a beautiful slippery MiG-19. So that's all we've got at the moment. We'll obviously replace this video once everything's working. Anything you want to add to that star? I hope that helps and we'll see you later.